focus your energy on your own path. And this is the new path, the Ace of Wands. What does that mean to you, Pisces? That's for you to figure out. And I know you will. Hey there, Pisces. How are you? It's your first right here. Nice to see you again. Welcome in and welcome back to the Hundred Acre Woods where I read cards out here. So let's read some cards for you, Pisces. Let's read some more cards for you. I had the video recorded and ready to go. And then when I put my little Force Fairy icon in it, I didn't reduce it and put it in the corner and change the opacity. It was just this, it covered the whole video. Okay, fine. So then I went to fix it. I did. Went to upload it and got a little bit ahead of myself and deleted the wrong video off of the phone. And because it was hooked up to the computer, it got rid of the raw footage. I don't know how. Trust me, I don't know how. So then I had to go into town and now I'm recording your video again. Okay, so my apologies for that. It was ready to go because I was going to upload it in town. Anyways, long story short, we're here. We're back. We're doing more, another reading for you. First card out. And we're using your old 2023 deck, which is the Ideal Soulmate Tarot. And it's just going to be your angels' messages, what they think, feel, and guidance for you. What you think of their guidance, what you feel about their guidance, and then moving forward with their guidance. What are you going to do? So, first card out, Knight of Wands. That's what they think of you, Pisces, that you're moving forward. And I'm feeling, taking a leap, almost like the Fool card, to just moving forward, taking a leap of faith on you, like on whatever you, you want to do, whatever it is that you want to do, Pisces. Okay. What do the angels feel for you, Pisces? The Four of Wands. They feel that you're holding on. Oh, there's something underneath it. Okay, hold on. So then that's going to be their guidance. Are you holding on to their guidance? Ace of Wands, a brand new path. Okay. Okay, I see it. Yeah. Um, what I'm hearing is don't hold on to uh, expectations or preconceived notion of where you're supposed to go. If, if, and especially with the Knight of Wands, if someone gives you an opportunity, if a new path sort of arises that you never thought about, take that path, right? Because... And, and I kind of, I can understand this Pisces because there was no way that I was ever going to have a channel, you know, even just five years ago. And so I know, and then the opportunity arises, here you go, you can do this. And you would have never considered it. That's what this Ace of Wands feels like as their guidance. So what do you think about their guidance, Pisces? You're on the move. Perfect. That's what you think. You're making plans. To take a different path. What do you feel about this? How do you feel about their advice? You feel the responsibility with the Ten of Wands. You feel there's going to be a lot of responsibility. Okay, that's valid. That's a valid feeling, especially on a new path. What you have to do. There's a lot of details, I feel, with this Ten of Wands. Okay, and you might want to hold on to your old path, to your old life, to your old job, to your old relationships, we'll get some re we'll get some clarifiers on that Four of Pentacles, and then um, these are your actions with their advice of the Ace of Wands moving forward. And that's clarified by yeah, curiosity about, about that new path. That's what I love to see. I love to see it, Pisces. Curious, what is this going to mean? What is this going to take? Okay, yes, indeed, bottom of the deck, and that which you might not see, Pisces, success. Look at that. You don't see the success by taking this new path. Okay. Okay. So let's get some clarifiers on this Knight of Wands. This is how your angels, what they think of you, how they see you. I'm just going to say how they see you. Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Right here. With the Four of Wands, you could be moving. He's looking right at that move. You could be moving. You could also be celebrating a new place that you just got, a new um, house, place, apartment, 
and you're loving it. You just, you jumped on that opportunity. It, it came about or free and you're in it. And high priestess by listening to your intuition, following it. This is what, it, this is what they, they see you doing Pisces. Good. Good for you. Um, this high priestess is also being quiet for some of you about where you're moving to, um, when you're moving, if you are moving into a new place, where it is, again, with the four of pentacles, how much it costs, um, you're, you're keeping a lot of that to yourself with the high priestess. And it's like, you know, you have to, okay. Four of pentacles. This is what they feel for you with the four of pentacles queen of cups there you are pisces i'm gonna put that right underneath the high priestess and it's almost like you're looking at and and with kind again the, the queen of cups is my kind queen my compassionate queen my understanding and empathetic and unconditionally loving queen so if this is how they see you being towards yourself that you might not want to let go. You might not want to move. You might be worrying about, can I sustain it? I can afford it now, but will I be able to in the future? And for how long? That's really what I'm picking up with this and the five of swords. So this is a complete opposite energy to the queen of cups. So they really want you to be aware of negative thinking of being too critical to mean like, like this is, this is a real mean energy, the five of swords and it's internal. So it's thoughts, right? And with it being in the heart space, it's almost like you're now making plans when you're kind to yourself, when you speak beautifully, nicely, kindly, lovingly to yourself, about how, and especially if you've been in a job, a relationship, um, a contract of any sort, whether it be a living contract, a, a work contract, a, even a marriage contract, they are seeing you be gentle with yourself, holding on, and yet almost like being aware, becoming aware, or they want you to become aware of how you speak to yourself so you can move on freely without I'm just going to say it, Pisces, without self-sabotaging yourself, okay? It feels like this is a move, and you've got to be quiet about it. I don't know why. That's for you to know. And a new path with the Ace of Wands. This is their guidance. Pisces, this is their guidance. So, clarifying the Ace of Wands is the Emperor. The Emperor. Look at this. This is no bones about it. I'm going to put this right here. The emperor makes decisions and he's making a decision and on, on a new path without wavering. And the lovers, choices. This is a choice card for me. A choice to make a move. And you are. Okay, so this is what you think of this guidance. The guidance, these are majors. This is a major move, Pisces. This is a major um, path change. I feel you make the right choice. And again, based in, in love, rather than fear. I, I really feel that, rather than fear. And this is choosing you, Pisces. You're stepping into this emperor mode. Emperor is an energy of providing and protecting. Are you providing and protecting your choices from those that could influence you, uh, sort of steer you down a self-sabotaging sort of mindset, which would then affect your emotions and your actions? Okay, okay, I see that. It's not going to work with this six of wands that which you might not see is the six of wands here so we'll get a clarifier on that in just a second but we're going to go up here to what do you think of their advice of a path change 
and being quite confident with the emperor about the choices that you're making judgment you're waking up i think you're waking up that it's time to move it's wake you're waking up to and whatever this means to you pisces with the judgment card and you're making a judgment you are and it's to to choose you over anyone anything else and the nine and it's your wish fulfillment with the nine of cups good you're on the move like i feel like with the first card out it's the knight of wands you're on the move pisces you're on the move so let's see now this could also the ten of wands is also a moving card um and i see in this if you see here in this four of pentacles it's like you could be i don't know if you can see it's very light in the background it looks like a city and it's like you might be holding on to a city uh, a, a place in the city meaning like a borough or whatever they're called like an area in the city you could be holding on to um, an apartment or a loft or something that you've had for a very long time and the idea of moving is just uh i don't want to and yet in this ten of wands i see a home and i see greenery it's it's just one home so it's like it's almost like you could be moving out of a city you know that it's becoming ten intent i'm just gonna say intense a lot of cities are it's becoming over populated let's just put it that way and you want some space that's what this ten of wands feels like pisces you want space your own space a natural space and it's clarified by the knight of swords the knight of swords and the two of swords okay so you're in the heart space you are and again i mentioned self-sabotaging this could very well be you being confused with the two of swords not knowing what to do tap in especially when it's right beside this queen of cups tap into your intuition what does your intuition tell you does your intuition tell you that it's time to move does your intuition tell you that you can handle the move even even if you have to do it by yourself pisces start packing start purging start um, just one box at a time as you make that decision as you're kind with yourself about this decision making process don't let this five of swords two of swords i don't want to say the knight of swords because the knight of swords um are like fast messages where if you don't answer it if you ignore the emails if you ignore the you know responses back you might be inquiring in and let's just say renting um a home out of town you're worried about i don't have transportation i work in the city could you re you know work remote all of these details like i'm getting a lot of details and it almost feels like virgo energy in a piscean read it's almost like the opposite so it's it's what you would normally do in that opposite sign i don't know when or why this feels so Virgo but it does and I don't know if it has something to do with the south node I have no idea I'm not an astrologer I'm a card reader but the details I say quiet your mind Pisces quiet that mind find peace of mind pay attention to messages with the knight of swords because they're going to be fast and you got to move on them with the knight of wands here and then that this and just be curious right the actions moving forward is this page of wands be curious yes the sun it's going to your curiosity is going to lead you to your happiness to your wish fulfillment and it's it's going to be through this knight of swords which is right in the middle here and the world an ending of i get an ending of a cycle um this is successfully ending a cycle ending um it's like a, you're ch with the path change with the ace of wands here and the choice that you have to make this is coming to an end and a new beginning into happiness into wish fulfillment with the nine of of cups happiness with the sun and again quieting those that mind so you can really hear the voice of your soul of your spirit yeah and not to be afraid moving forward bottom of the deck and clarifying 
the Six of Wands. Yes, this is a major transformation with the Death card, Pisces. This is a major transformation that you will successfully guide yourself through by by going within, listening to your intuition, listening to your angels, because this is these are messages from your angels, and they really want you to tap in with that High Priestess, the Queen of Cups, and then make a loving choice for Pisces. Loving choices for Pisces with the Lovers card here. Yeah, and then stand by those choices um, with the Emperor. Don't waver. All right, let's get some angel numbers on this Pisces. I have, I got this before, eight, and I can't remember which read. 811. This is a completely different read than the one that I, you know, lost. <laughs> so I find it very interesting, like in 24 hours, how the energies have changed for you, Pisces. 811. If I find it, I will post it, but I think it's gone. Your path is opening up. There's that Ace of Wands right there, Pisces. Your path is opening up. Everything is in perfect alignment for your dreams to become reality. Now I'm going to take it back and do 118. 118. In order to grow, you have to let go of attachments, Four of Pentacles, to the outcome of a situation, especially if it involves others, take time to refocus your energy on your own path. And this is the new path, the Ace of Wands. What does that mean to you, Pisces? That's for you to figure out. And I know you will. And that's what I see for you, Pisces. And I'm sure I'll see you again. Take care from your forest fairy. Bye for now.